as we know, millions sadly died in the Great War, World War I. And among those were some young men from Funden Hall. And here at this magnificent church in Funden Hall is a permanent exhibition to those brave young lads who gave their lives. So this really is what started it all off, Absolutely. and it says at the top, to the glory of God and in honour of the men of this parish of Fundenhall. And so this was found um, while you were renovating. Once we brought it down, we realised how significant it was. Every man that fought from Fundenhall, and remember we are a tiny, tiny, tiny parish, there were 48 men that served in the First World War, 14 died, Well, this is a most splendid isn't it, yeah. sculpture by Kate Munro, who's a local artist. And there are 14 poppies here, there each, each in memory of the fallen of Fundenhall. Yes. Um, how did you get these? Well, we as a group decided that initially we would buy one poppy to commemorate and then conversation continued. And then it was decided, well, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get one for each man that died? And knew right from the very beginning we wanted it to be a community project. Knew that we probably wanted it to go into a sculpture mm. and wanted to get a local artist involved as well. And, and really, that's where it all began. And it's very beautiful. And this is actually from the church as well. Yes. Um, which was a, a pew. Yes. It was felt that with the whole theme of regeneration, which is what really this is all about, that to use the pews in a very, very simple way was really the way to go because the men themselves would probably have sat on those pews. Really? My dear mother and dad, just a few lines, hoping they will find you all right and in the best of health as it leaves me at present. I think that is all for once from your loving son, Joe. Well, Janet Smith is a distant relation to one of the soldiers who sadly lost his life in World War I, and he's featured here, Joseph Smith. And what relationship were you to him? Well, he was my husband's uncle. And he was a very young lad when he joined the army, wasn't he? Yes, he was, yes. Just 18, yes. Uh, when he died. When he died, Very, yes. very sadly. Yes. Well, tell us what you know about him. Well, I, I didn't find out much about him until after uh, his brother, who was my father-in-law, died. And uh, well, everything came to us. And so I have his medals and a letter from him and a photograph and, and the death penny. Did you say this death penny, uh, which was given to everyone yes. who sadly died? Yes. And it says here he died for freedom. Yes. In a way, a, a lovely thing to have, but a very moving thing yes. to have, isn't it? Yes, it is. What yes. do you feel when you see this? What do you think about it? Well, you know, I, I didn't know him, but, um, mm. you know, it's like, nice to have something like that to remember, um, you know, what did happen. In yes. The this happened with almost every family. You know. And here you've got stories of actually what happened yes. to them. Yes. Uh, people can come and learn yes. a little bit more about actually what yes. happened. But these were young men. These are mm. these are mini biogs of all of mm. the all, mm. all of the people that um, served. Reconnecting with Funden Hall's fallen for me started, I think, back in June, um, when I was invited for an informal coffee morning in Funden Hall, and that informal coffee morning turned into, I think, somewhere between six and eight weeks of intense design um, applications that I had to apply in so many different ways to actually achieve what you see here today. I think when you've spent a lot of time working closely, you know, with, you know, following the lives of individuals, it certainly brings it home to you, the enormity.
Well, this is the splendid display by local children who came to have a look at the exhibition a couple of months ago. One of the things we wanted them to do by the end of the day was express themselves creatively. We've got poems here and crayon drawings, haven't we? And also painting drawings. And you said that they did this on the day. Yes, so yes, absolutely. Quite amazing, really, when you look at it. And I just wanted to, to um, read one of the poems here. They're all absolutely splendid, but this is um, Olivia Donald, who's 11 years old. Rifles from every direction, tight living spaces, coated with filth, lice and rats. Only one thing nursing our fears, letters, support from loved ones. Each new day bringing fresh terrors, constant attack from the enemy or never ending boredom. Letters from home bringing bad news, sad news. The one positive turned negative. All of us going through the same ordeal, some wounded, mentally, physically, permanently, some clinging on to the last string of life. For others, fate had already been decided, death. The loss of friends, the loss of family, the loss of life. 